Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Liam Douglas here coming at you from Roxboro, North Carolina. And in today's video, I'm doing an unboxing review of the Platypod Handle, a brand new piece of photography gear that I'm really excited about. Before we get into that, I want to remind you to check out the Liam Photography Podcast. You can find the show anywhere that you find podcasts. I have a massive back catalog of episodes that you can listen to with over 330 episodes as of today that you can go back and listen to at your leisure. Also, please remember to subscribe to the channel, like the video, comment on it, share it out on social media, and hit the little bell icon so you can be notified when new content drops. All right, so let's open this bad boy up. Now, the good folks at Platypod, I've been a supporter of their products for many, many years, ever since their first Kickstarter campaign, and the good folks at Platypod were nice enough to send me one of these and ask me to test it for them. So, in the package, you have the Platypod handle. And then you have this little fold-out that has some instructional information as well as a QR code to a video on the Platypod's Kickstarter page um, that you can check out for yourself. It is made from high-quality machined aluminum. In its collapsed form, where you see it here, it is six and a half inches long. And with a one-eighth turn of this top part here, you can extend it up and then tighten it back down. And now you have a ten and a half inch riser. Now the top has the three-eighths bolt for any standard tripod, camera body, anything like that. And it also has a 3-8 socket on the bottom so you can screw it onto any tripod or your Platypod flat tripod like I have here. I have my Platypod Extreme and there you go. So it's good to go. I can take this, loosen it back up, drop it back down to its normal six and a half inch height and then I can take it off here. Now this part's cool. So I can unscrew the top here like so and I can unscrew the bottom. And then of course I can unscrew this bottom section. I can set this section aside and I can take the cap and the bottom piece and fit them together. And now I have a three and a half inch riser that I can use on my platypod, tripod, monopod, anything I want to use it on. And it's going to be extremely handy. So that would give you just a slight rise if you're using your platypod and you need just a little bit more height to get the shot that you're trying to get. I can reassemble this now, put it all back together, and we'll be back at the standard six and a half inch height, which is very handy. Um, this can be used as a vlogging stick as well. Bear with me here. I'm having a little bit of trouble getting the top cap back on. I don't have it lined up quite right. That's my fault. I'm getting a little bit ahead of myself here. And my fingers aren't moving in conjunction with my brain. <laughs> There we go. Okay, so like I said a moment ago, it has a whole bunch of these one quarter 20s all the way around this cap on top. And that is so you can attach other accessories like your platypod goosenecks and other items like that. And I'll show that to you in just a second here in the next section of the video. But this is an extremely handy device, very well made, good craftsmanship, and it is absolutely beautiful to look at. As I mentioned a moment ago, if I wanted to re-extend it to the full 10 and a half inches, I could put my action camera on top or my iPhone or anything like that. And then bam, I've got a vlogging selfie stick that is very sturdy, very rugged, and always at the ready. And being it is made of aluminum, you don't have to worry about the weather getting to it. It's not going to rust from exposure rain or water or snow or anything like that. And uh, so you don't have to worry about any of those issues either, which is really cool. Now, as you can see here, by adding some of the other Platypod accessories, I can have a completely portable vlogging rig. Uh, let's say you're doing a uh, your YouTube channel, you do cooking or something like that. You could use this rig in the kitchen and be your own one-man production studio. I have a couple of cube lights attached here using the Platypod gooseneck arms. And I've got one set to red, one set to blue just for giggles so you can see what it looks like. And of course, I'm using the square jellyfish on the top of the Platypod handle with a Platypod disc to hold my actual camera. Uh, smartphone if I was going to use that as a camera. That's just an example. So there are some really cool things you can do by combining the various Platypod accessories and you can make all kinds of cool rigs. You could use a modified version of this rig as macro uh, for macro photography. Just take the uh, square jellyfish off, mount your regular DSLR or mirrorless onto the Platypod handle 
and you've got a great macro rig. You can move these lights wherever you need them and you're good to go. So that is another really handy thing that you can do with the Platypod handle that makes me really excited about this new product. Now, another thing that the Platypod handle can come in extremely handy for, this isn't something I've actually done yet, but you can see it in the Kickstarter campaign video, is a lot of photographers do like to take their actual Platypod flat tripod and attach it to a tree and strap it down, which is one of the awesome things you can do with the Platypod tripod. However, when you do that and you put a ball head on, you can only turn your camera up about this far and kind of like a V fashion, where... If you use the platypod handle, you can attach the handle to the platypod flat tripod. You can put your ball head on here, whether it's a platypod ball head or a Benro or any other ball head, ball head. You can put it on there and then I can loosen this up and then bam, I can tip this up. Let me loosen it up here so I can show you. I can set it just like this and then bam, set my camera on top and I've got a great rig that I can set up to shoot off the side of a tree or a utility pole or anything else like that. Okay, so one more thing about the Platypod handle that I didn't tell you about yet is this plate on the bottom where your 3 8 socket is to mount it on a tripod or a monopod is also Arca Swiss compatible. So I can slide it right into any Arca Swiss ball head like my Platyball Ergo, tighten it down, and bam, we are good to go. So you can actually put it in your ball head and then put your camera on top using the 3 8 bolt on the top or using another uh, mount like the Plata disc on the top to hold your camera. That works perfectly as well. This is truly a new, exciting product. Um, I'm very excited about it. Like I said, I've supported Platypods since the very beginning, their very first Kickstarter campaign, and I'm so super excited about this new product. Um, I'm actually going to get two of them, which is what I recommend most people do, just because if you have two of them that you can stack if you need to, then you can have uh, 21 inches total riser if you extend them both. Now, this thing is rated to hold at least 11 pounds of camera gear. Pretty sure it would hold more than that because it's really, really sturdy and well constructed. But I did want to make you aware of that as well. It is rated for 11 pounds. Okay, now, just so you know, I'm not pulling your chain that you can use the Platypod handle with any tripod, not just the Platypods. I have my iFootage Cobra carbon fiber monopod here that has three feet on the bottom. And as you can see, standard three eighths on the top and the Platypod handle attaches to it. No problem whatsoever. And then I can go ahead and put my Platyball Ergo on the very top of this setup. Get that on there as well. And tighten that down. And then I can take my XE4, which again still doesn't have a lens on it. But this is just for demonstration purposes anyways. And there you can see that I've got this entire rig set up. And I'm actually using a combination of Platypod and non-Platypod products. Um, so you don't think that I'm just uh, only talking about the Platypod stuff. But that's what this video is about. It's an unboxing review of the Platypod handle. Which, in my opinion, is currently one of the coolest accessories for photography to come out on the market. Now, I know there's other companies that make selfie sticks, vlogging sticks. They make gimbals for that stuff. Absolutely. But nobody makes such a precision machined aluminum handle like this. They can be used for so many different things. It can be used as a riser on your tripod. It can be used as a vlogging stick. It can be used as a compact stick when you take the top portion off. So in total, so you can make the Platypod handle go from three and a half inches to six and a half inches to when it's fully extended here at the top, 10 and a half inches total riser space which is a decent amount of space for a riser for any kind of photography rig, whether it's on a tripod, monopod, platypod, any of them, it's going to come in handy. And like I said, if you have two of these, then you could have a total of 21 inches if you have them both fully extended, and you're still going to easily be able to hold that maximum weight of 11 pounds without any issues whatsoever. All right, I want to thank you all for taking the time to watch this video. Please remember to subscribe to the channel down below, watch the video, comment on it, like it, share it out on social media, and hit the little bell icon so you can be notified when new content drops, and I will see you all in the next video.